Tonight, I'm gonna to be covering the UFC pay-per-view that just went down, and I want to recap, I want to highlight, I want to talk about the main event, Usman versus Edwards, number three. Normally, I don't do this. Now, this channel is about tutorials, talking about fighting, teaching you guys, but this was just such a nice performance from both fighters, such a great contest that I wanna recap it for you. So if you didn't get a chance to see it, you can watch it right now. Now, one of the early things that was pointed out as this fight began was a tweet from Teddy Atlas saying a champion improves, or at least he was told from the old time fighters that a champion improves 30% upon winning their title. And that was food for thought. Obviously you guys can see I've got lots of titles. These are kickboxing, not MMA titles, but I can still speak to does your performance level jump? Do you get better after winning a title? I wouldn't say there's a massive difference except for the mindset. If your mindset is solid and you truly now believe you are the best without being you know, a lot of ego and letting yourself slack off on the training, but if you still train the same way but now you have that massive confidence that you are the best in the world, then yes, this could be a percentage that you increase just based on being the champion. Edwards obviously was already very dangerous before, but with extra confidence, it was interesting to see how much better he would be tonight. Now you could tell there was some bad blood early in the fight because we see Usman walk across the cage when his name's announced and get right in the face of Edwards. I thought that was very interesting. It's not something we see very often, but it intrigued me to his mindset going into the fight. Once round one got started, the first thing that I noticed was the big power left round kicks from Edwards targeting not up to the high torso, but down to the low torso, maybe with that game plan long-term to draw the hand down, but I think more, not for a setup down the road, but to land because we knew Usman's hand was going to be very high to protect. So they probably recognized that that would be open and he was taking advantage of it so beautifully. Usman tries for a takedown and is unable to in round one. He can't secure it and that's a good telltale sign that this fight might be a little bit harder than he was anticipating. Now later in the round something interesting happens. Edwards has his back against the cage and he hooks the inside of the glove to stop Usman from being able to grab or escape and is able to spin out. It gets noticed, obviously by Usman, but also Herb Dean calls him on it, and that right away is going, okay, you can't do anything else during the fight, which is just a little bit dirty. You had your one shot. I thought it was interesting that they didn't put Edwards back on the cage, and then let him start again standing. It seemed a little unfair. I think they should have put him back, but that's just my opinion. Now moving into round two, Usman seems very excited to get started. He lost round one clearly, so he's out. He's ready to go. He's all the way across the ring and they have to separate him before Herb Dean says, yes, you can actually fight, even though 10 seconds has already run away on the clock. We see Usman very often going for the takedowns, but then on separation, Edwards firing in these awesome knees as Usman tries to regain his distance, and these things are massive in the fight. They're a big part of Edwards doing some fantastic striking, and Usman is very fortunate that he doesn't get cut on exit because head down, down here instead of up, is definitely dangerous for those eyebrows getting slashed up. Closing round two, we see Usman land a big cross like a big powerful cross, probably the best shot of the whole fight so far, and he secures a takedown off it. Now Edwards is able to get back up, but as his back is against the cage, or sorry, his back is facing towards Usman, his hands against the cage, he has taken some big punishment on those punches, and it's just a good closing to round number two. I will be very interested to see what scoring everybody thought at the conclusion of this, if you already watched. I wanna see who you think won because round one to Edwards, no doubt. Round two, a little bit debatable. And moving into round three, we see a good early takedown from Usman, but then a big point. Something really important happens. Edwards hooks the cage and he loses a point. One point off from him in round number three. And a little bit later on, Usman gets hit with a second low blow to the groin. Accidental, it looks like, but still, ugh, 
Those are never fun. Of course, if you guys don't already have one of those diamond cups, you should definitely grab one because they make a world of difference. Hopefully Usman was wearing one of those. He is fast to get back into the fight and does not take even close to the full recovery time. And then getting later on in round number three, does a massive elbow from Usman, solid connection, beautiful shot but that body round kick that left body round kick from Edwards is just beautiful he continues to crash in really low and Usman is just having a lot of trouble dealing with that and again you might say it's for the setup to the head but I think it's just because his hands high enough that the body is open and why not go down low in round number four we see Usman go to throw a kick I believe and he slips and falls on the canvas and just has a mad scramble back to his feet to avoid Edwards taking advantage of that slip and Usman being on his back. I loved the speed of the whole exchange. And Usman is pushing hard now. He probably knows, okay, I gotta get these last two rounds in the bag because the scorecard is questionable right now. They're all very close rounds. And we see Edwards doing a fantastic job of avoiding the takedowns even with his back to the cage. In round number five, we finally see Edwards throw that left high kick up and Usman has one hand high. He doesn't get his arm across. It's not a full cross block or anything like that as he should have done, but the hand is there and he protects himself just as he should have done at the end of the fight in their second bout. And then just shortly after again, we see a big uppercut from Edwards right up to that big left high kick again. He's trying to land it now, but Usman is doing a good job keeping that hand high enough just so he's not getting knocked down like he did at the end of their second bout. And getting closer to the end of the fight, we see a big exchange, good scramble, nice elbow from Edwards and we go to the scorecard that is sort of the summary of this fight again this is an interesting one it's a majority decision for Edwards I wasn't really caring about who won the fight I wasn't invested in that way but I did think even though I was taking notes to make this episode I did think from watching as best I could and kind of keeping score while I was doing everything else that Edwards probably did get the win. What do you think? Throw down in the comments below there and let me know if you think Usman should have been the winner and just how happy were you watching this fight? I thought it was spectacular. I thought there was some high level kickboxing from Edwards, which I'm always very excited to see being a striker and a kickboxer. So that is my summary, everybody, of this trilogy match between Usman and Edwards. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a like. If you haven't already, join the channel, get subscribed. I'm not usually covering fights like I did today. Mostly I'm doing tutorials. I'm talking about fight mindset. There's so many ways for you to improve by getting subscribed and watching the videos on this channel. As always guys, train hard. I will see you back here soon for another video.